Hello and welcome back. This is the third video in a series of videos that demonstrate QuickBooks Enterprise solutions. If you've arrived at this video and have not stopped to look at video number one and two, I recommend that you visit this URL www.qbalance.com forward slash qbesvideo.htm. There you can find videos number one and two or the next video in the series. This video covers QuickBooks Enterprise Reporting and it builds off video number two which covered a generic overview of what the different transaction types are in QuickBooks and video number one which discussed the differences between Pro Premier and QuickBooks Enterprise and also talked a little bit about the new features that QuickBooks Enterprise 11 offered. Okay. Let's switch over to QuickBooks Enterprise and take a look at some of the reports that you'll be using on a daily basis. This demonstration is about the reporting aspects of QuickBooks and how they can easily help you find what you're looking for. There are many doors in QuickBooks to access that piece of information. You can open a customer center, call up a customer name, and have a list of all the transactions in this window. You can call up a transaction listing from the customer center and choose the type of transaction, estimates, sales orders, invoices, repayments, choose the date range, choose the type of payment, and get a complete list of payments in date order. So your centers in QuickBooks allow you to retrieve data very quickly. Vendor Center will give you a list of your vendors. You can get a complete list of all the transactions to this particular vendor for all time or for any one of these periods. It's also a transaction tab. You want a list of bills, sort it by date order, beginning to end and to beginning, sort it just as you would in Excel. But this is not about the centers and finding data through these centers. It's not about finding data using the wonderful advanced find window which I love and use on a regular basis. I'm looking for a transaction that had $162 in it. I can enter $162, click find, and voila! I have my bill and my bill payment. I can enter a number 124-90874. I can open that bill click on the history of that bill and jump over to the bill payment. So there are a lot of doors that you can use to access the data that you need. So now we talk about reports. And we're going to show you some of the reports that you'll be using on a daily basis to find information or to help you manage your business. My customer calls me today and says, Linda, I want that order, that quote that you gave me yesterday. I had sent him an estimate. So I'll go to reports and call up under jobs and time my estimates by job. I have my estimate here. I discuss with him to make sure that this is the right order. And from our create invoice, you can create a sales order. And from there, I'll create a purchase order and place an order for the product. You can add these reports to your icon bar for quick and easy access and you can memorize them and have all your favorite reports under your memorized report folder. We found our estimate and we created the sales order. We've created from the sales order a purchase order and now we want to take a look and see what's still open on our purchase orders. My warehouse person has asked me for a list of orders that will be coming in tomorrow. Go to reports, purchases, open purchase orders by item and open purchase order list. And we have an open balance. Reports, purchase, purchase order detail, and I have a delivery date column which tells me when I ex am expecting to receive that product. It tells me the total quantity, how many have been received, how many is on back order, and the open balance of the purchase order. There's lots of purchase order reports that will help my warehouse person manage my business. Customer calls up and says, where's my order? I can go to reports, sales, open sales order by customer, zoom in on the order and talk to the customer about the status of this order. If you'll notice under these report groupings and I went to sales, there's a whole list of reports and each one of these groupings has many different reports that you can choose and are pre-formatted for you. We're not going to go over all those reports. Instead, under report, 
Report Center, which helps you choose the report that you're looking for. So we're going to look at the sales section. There is an icon that gives us a visual display of what the report looks like. We can click on these reports and it will open up that report. Or we can look by carousel view. We're on the sales grouping and we can just bring over each one of these reports and take a look at it to see what we're looking for. So the carousel view lets us quickly find the information that we need. So the sales order came in, we've converted it to an invoice, it now shows up on our accounts receivable report. This is an expanded view showing the parent customer with all of the child stores and the balances each of the stores owe. When I make a collection call, I call the main headquarters at Baker's Professional Lighting. I'm going to click the Collapse view. That makes the report a little less busy to look at. Professional Lighting, I can zoom right in on the grand total and get a complete list for one customer of all the invoices that were owed, the terms, and the open balances. But there are many other receivable collection reports. There's an AR date detail, there is a collection report, how old the invoice is, by customer, so that when you call the customer you can have something visual to talk to them about. The same reports exist in accounts payable, so we won't cover that here today, but reports are very flexible. Let's take a look at the profit and loss standard, basic profit and loss report. We can modify the report, at a percentage of income, have another report that we're used to seeing on a regular basis in most accounting software. And we can add the previous period and it'll show us the prior year. I want to look at all 12 months for last year and the prior year to do trend analysis. 12 months, January through December. And I may cut that down and just look at four quarters. Very flexible. I may want to just take a look at this report and filter it just for one particular customer. Sales and profitability by quarter. Within seconds, you get the report that you need. Very flexible. We'll go ahead and run that report again. We can zoom in on, on any account and total by payee and immediately get a list for the year by vendor of purchases. Now they have these reports already pre-built in your reports menu and that's why they built the report center to make it a little bit easier for you to refine the report that you want. In addition to the many reports built within QuickBooks, occasionally you're looking for a more uh, professional looking financial statement that you can give to the bank. Intuit Statement Writer will do that for you. Prepares GAP ready financial statements. There are templates already set up so that you can just export the data to Excel using the Intuit Statement Writer in a matter of minutes. You can then roll up any account, rename any caption or title without being tied into the predefined titles in QuickBooks. Only QuickBooks Enterprise comes with the capability of combining multiple company files into one set of financial report. If you have a few related companies that you're doing the accounting for and want to produce one consolidated financial statement at the end of any period, it's very easy to do with this feature. We'll go ahead and give you a quick demonstration on how this works. We'll add another company file to combine. These are the report types that can be combined, a profit and loss standard, balance sheet standard, statement of cash flow, trial balance, profit and loss by class, and customer summary. Choose last year because this is a sample company file and, that has, and we'll say cons consolidated uh, financial reports. Just click the button, combine in Excel. And we have a workbook with all the different tabs for the reports. Company 1, Company 2, and the grand total for our balance sheet. Profit and loss standard, Company 1, Company 2, and a grand total. Statement of cash flows, Company 1, 2, and a total. Trial balance for Company 1, Company 2, and a total. And profit and loss by class, and that's a little busy. So we'll just jump over to the customer. Uh, summary, which is customer's store number five, how much was purchased company one and company number two, and the grand total. New for QuickBooks Enterprise 2011 is the custom reporting feature. 
this will be most loved by companies who have someone who's a little bit techy in their company or have access to somebody with technical skill. Custom reporting uses an ODBC driver. When you set up a QuickBooks user for the ODBC driver, you can then export your data to Excel or Microsoft Access using SQL queries. Now, can accountants do SQL? If you're on the techie side, yes. If you are not, well, it's not the easiest thing. You do need a bit of training. In addition to all the wonderful reports inside of QuickBooks, they've really done a great job on improving the company snapshot. We can add content and remove content. and gives us a group of dashboard that we can rearrange any way we like. So what we're looking at here is an income and expense trend. This shows last year to date, income and expenses. You can choose this year to date, but this data file doesn't have much in it. So we'll put one little line in here. We can look at top customers by sales. So here's our five top customers and their vol sales volume. We have an income breakdown, an expense breakdown. We can add content previous year income comparison. We can move these widgets around that make the most sense to us, those that are the most important for us to see. There is a new for 2011, there's a customer dashboard, which is terrific. You want to know who your best customers are. This is a great place to come. It tells you the number of years as a customer, average days to pay, their open balance, total sales, best selling items, recent payments, sales history by quarter, monthly, weekly, or yearly, recent invoices, add and remove content in this window as well. One other center that is new for 2011 the, under the customer center is the collection center. The collection center is added in 2011 and I think it's going to save people a lot of time. Nobody really likes making collection calls, so when invoices are almost due, and here's one invoice that is due in two days, you can select all the almost due invoices, send an email to the customer, it attaches a copy of the invoice, and you can say, this invoice has terms of net 30 days, therefore we hope to see your check in our office on Friday. Thank you again for your business. And you can send it out once a week to all the almost due <laughs> bills. On the overdue invoices, you can select all the overdue invoices and, and type a more potent cover letter that politely asks for payment. If there are problems with an invoice and you haven't negotiated with the customer yet, you can uncheck it and it will not collect on those invoices. Really terrific feature. In summary, QuickBooks report easy to use. Pretty much a report for almost everything that you need. In, in any report that you do run, you can modify it choose the date range, filter it, and you can memorize it with the click of a button for easy retrieval. Thank you for attending this video on reports. As a reminder, www.qbalance.com. Our phone number is 800-216-0763. My name is Linda Saltz. I'm an advanced certified QuickBooks advisor, and we sell QuickBooks Enterprise. We help you install it give you the hand-holding you need to get it customized and provide you with the training to be, work very efficiently in QuickBooks. Thank you for attending. There's another video after this one. To access video number four or previous versions, visit www.qbalance.com forward slash qbesvideo.htm. See you in a few minutes.